All right, hey VC, how you doing? My name is Jamie, welcome back. We have another unboxing for you on uh, this one, perhaps the unboxing of the year. Uh, it has just arrived, in fact, it arrived in a huge cardboard box, and uh, here it is. Uh, we're talking about Pink Floyd, The Later Years, the massive box set. And this is the uh, Later Years, 1987 to 2019, limited edition box, 16 discs of unreleased, remixed, and restored material, five CDs, six Blu-rays, five DVDs, uh, momentary lapse of reason, undated and remixed. Delicate sound of thunder, restored and remixed. Pulse, restored and re-edited. Venice and Nebworth concerts, unreleased. The Endless River film, unreleased. Plus 5.1 audio mixes, two vinyl 7-inch singles, documentaries, films, music videos, concert screen films, memorabilia, tour programs, lyric books, 60-page deluxe photo book, and more. Wow. So there you have it. And uh, this is it. And it arrived uh, sort of open like this. And this isn't your typical shrink. This is kind of like a big sort of almost like a bag, if you will. And I have seen one or two unboxings. And it seems to that this is the way that it arrives. It was in a big uh, cardboard box, uh, opening it up. And uh, a box way too big for this. Uh, but inside was, was this. And it's, it's, it's open like this. But uh, interesting. And so we've got that on the back. So... Uh, yeah, let's just take this off as easily as we can. But yeah, it's almost like a bag, if you will. Okay, so then we'll put that over here. And see if we can... So here's the slip case on the back here. Uh, it's just got this very tiny little bit of glue on here, but at least it's not gl glued on too, too hard. So here's the uh, slip case from the back, or the slip sheet. David Gilmore, Nick Mason, and Richard Wright. Okay. That just gives you kind of a rundown on what's inside. Uh, interesting, they don't spotlight the, uh, the division bell, but there are some, I'm pretty sure there's some division bell, uh, at least uh, remixes or some tracks on here. Now, the Division Bell did get its own uh, sort of box set. Okay, there we have that. Put that over here. And, uh, wow, on the back here. And I don't think I have anything up on the top of the table. A little something here. Just nothing on the back, and then it's it's not. <clears throat> I don't think it's like a slip case. It just opens sort of up, just opens up like that. Let's see if we can. Do, this has got a really nice weight to it, so let's, let's see if we can do this as gingerly or as easily as possible. So there you have that. So maybe we can get it. And uh, I see a nice little ribbon, and uh, also a little sort of uh, paper ribbon in there as well. Okay, so let's uh, take a look inside, shall we? Uh, okay, uh, now it's interesting. Now they got the nice little ribbon here, but they've also got these sort of cardboard um, barriers around here that I think I, they are just easily <laughs> removed, uh, which is interesting. I guess that's the way they wanted to do the presentation of these uh, booklets and whatnot. So we'll just take that out simply. They simply just come out like that. And there you have it. Okay, so. Here's all the, it uh, looks like, I'm assuming, like the tour programs and whatnot in this nice little uh, ribbon here like that. So I'm going to just slip them out of this. I definitely don't want to uh, uh, cut that. Um, oh, wow. And they have a really, they have a quite a nice, uh, almost, it's not quite like a gloss, but a nice kind of, uh, I say mesh or just a nice quality paper to it. And I'm assuming this is for a Delicate Sound of Thunder for the, Live set, and this looks like the tour program. Mm, some great uh, concert photos. And it's interesting that they have gone from the, the early years, the big box set, to then the later years, and people are asking, where's the middle years? Um, whether it will come or not, I mean, they've made the argument that uh, certainly 
uh, the middle years has generally been covered with box sets like Dark Side of the Moon, also uh, The Wall, um, Wish You Were Here, that sort of thing. However, they haven't done uh, the final cut as, as part of that, or Animals in, in particular. So I imagine it's eventually going to come. But uh, Okay, so there's that. Uh, Pink Floyd, this looks like a uh, world tour uh, for momentary lapse of reason. Again, really nice quality paper. Okay, opens up like that. Nice photo of the three. It's amazing how young they look, and this is like the late 80s, my gosh. Oh, boy. Okay. And some nice concert photos there. Nice photo of Nick Mason there. Okay. And the band. And certainly this was the original photo for uh, uh, Momentary Lapse of Reason when uh, Richard Wright was not sure if he was necessarily going to be a full part of the Pink Floyd um, moving forward. Um, now they have since, uh, in re-releasing uh, Momentary Lapse of Reason, they've re-released this photo. I think I showed it earlier in the other book where Richard Wright is added to uh, this photo and they've done that with the reissues of the vinyl of uh, Momentary Lapse of Reason. I think the CD as well, I was assuming. Uh, but it's interesting that that was the, the original photo from Momentary Lapse of Reason. Um, and now, Richard Wright was part of that album and was listed, uh, but it was David Gilmore, Nick Mason, and then Richard Wright in smaller letters with the rest of the band. Because I think at that point, Richard Wright wasn't quite sure if he was going to be uh, committed to Pink Floyd moving forward. But turns out he was committed and uh, reasonably thankful for that. So this is Pink Floyd, The Later Years, The Lyric Book. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, very nice to have all the lyrics included. So there you have them for momentary lapse of reason. And uh, yeah, they do uh, include the division bell. Uh, interesting. And carrying on here. Well, certainly these are reissues for these box sets. Um, I've generally been impressed. The early uh, years was an amazing, massive box set. Uh, this one packaged a little nicer. Uh, the early years was a little bit uh, awkward and cumbersome when they sort of replicated the uh, their early van. Um, there's a little bit of wasted space in it, but having said that, boy, they packed it with a lot of music, uh, certainly as well. Okay, and then we've got one more, and then I'll just slip this out here. And then we've got, it uh, looks like, the uh, Division Bell. So we'll take a look at that. And some great uh, imageries and artwork uh, from Storm, uh, who was formerly with Hypnosis, and Hypnosis did most of the covers uh, for Pink Floyd. Not all of them, but uh, generally most of them. And um, Storm with uh, his uh, amazing... Uh, that's my grandfather clock there, or the division bell. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot to look at, certainly for the images here. And in case you're picking up some of their early albums, <laughs> these you may also enjoy in your collection. Okay. There's my cat, Jax. So I'm just going to put him down here. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, there's that. All right, moving along. Uh, now we can use the, the ribbon for the rest of the material. So this is a nice hardcover book here. Wow. Okay, so this is uh, Pink Floyd's The Later Years photo book. If we didn't have enough photos from the tour book, so we get even more. My goodness. What is, is this all, uh, looks like, oh, these are like uh, press passes and things like that. At first I thought they were maybe were labels and things like that, but they're all like press passes. Wow, that is extensive. Okay. And that is the one wonderful thing with Pink Floyd. It's not only, you know, certainly great music, but uh, great photography, uh, great images. 
And certainly there are some either podcasts or videos of uh, David Gilmore discussing uh, the later years, uh, particularly working with uh, uh, Storm on uh, things like Momentary Lapse of Reason, uh, talking about how he initially had the idea, you know, of a bed in a room, maybe like with a light, and uh, asking Storm what he thought, and Storm said, well... Let's go with 500 beds, something like that. And it's amazing, even when this first came out back in the, uh, you know, the late 80s, I thought, you know, it's, you know, striking image, but Photoshop. No, those are actual about 500 beds that they took to uh, the, uh, the beach, if you will, <laughs> having to <coughs> photograph it. And then, of course, the tide comes in, having to remove the, the beds, put the beds back uh, if they wanted another shot sort of thing. Um, but that's the way certainly Storm and uh, and I think the other fellow's name is is it Audrey or Aubrey? Uh, that's how they work. They Photoshop maybe a little bit uh, only when necessary, but generally they it was location shots and sort of the real thing. Uh, if they needed to build something huge, like you know for the Division Bell, that's what they did and uh, did the on location shot sort of thing. So incredible! Wow. But yeah, it's just that attention to detail with the Pink Floyd that's uh, certainly always noted. And uh, yeah, it will be interesting to listen to A Momentary Lapse of Reason. Uh, this will now feature uh, Nick Mason on drums. Nick Mason was featured on the album, but he didn't play much drum uh, work on the album. He now has done the drumming for the album and uh, more uh, keyboard even from Richard Wright uh, on that album as well. And I've heard one or two mixes. They've kind of taken that sort of, as they say, that sort of 80s element out of it. And then beautiful image three there with the Endless River. And Endless River, not to uh, everybody's taste, but I think the Endless River is a, is a lovely album. I love the, you know, the instrumental, uh, predominantly instrumental album. Um, I think it's a lovely album. And The Division Bell, I think, is a great album. Uh, Momentary Lapse of Reason, when it was initially released, I, I, I've come to really uh, enjoy that album a lot more. It's a little uneven, uh, but looking forward to uh, hearing the remix. Okay, so now what do we have here? We have, if that's not enough stuff, we have Pink Floyd uh, memorabilia. Goodness. My gosh. Lots of for this. Uh, pops up, oops, pops up in the chest like that. It's going to this little, there we go. So, Oh my goodness, hope you've got some extra time here, because <laughs> we got lots of goodies inside here. Wow. Okay, so I think everything's out there. Uh, so, oh, okay, interesting. Uh, here, they put the vinyl uh, in here. Um, again, no uh, 12 inches or anything like that, but we do have uh, a couple of 7 inches. So this is Lost for Words, Pulse Tour Rehearsal Edit, uh, recorded at Pulse Tour Rehearsal, Earl's Court in London, October 20th, 1994, with, of course, uh, David, Nick, and Richard along with the rest of the band. Oops. Oh, wow. So I think it's just the one song, and then the etched other side. Nice. Look at that. Okay, so we have that. And then we have a very excited about this. Uh, Arnold Lane recorded live at the Barbican Centre London at the Sid Barrett Tribute Concert, The Mad Cat's Last Laugh, May 10th, 2007 with Pink Floyd, David Gilmour, uh, <clears throat> with uh, David Gilmour, Richard Wright, and Nick Mason, of course, along with the rest of the band uh, from 2007. So this was after the uh, Live uh, 8 uh, performance. So this would have been the last, as far as I understand, this was the last uh, time uh, Richard, uh, David, and uh, Nick played live. Uh, so the one song there, and then lo look at that. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Now that's an etching. Okay, there you have that. Okay, moving right along. Oh my goodness, more more goodies. We've got uh, tickets and what have you. I'll just put that over here. Uh, press passes, press stickers, that sort of thing, or tour stickers, I should say. Very nice. Wow. 
Let's say lots of goodies. And oh, okay, very nice some posters. I did like that to image. I always just wondered how could he sit down. <laughs> I can see it doesn't. Even these are actual stickers. Oh, cool. Oh, very nice. And it looks like even more posters. I think that was like this. Like that. Okay. Even more posters. An amazing image from Momentary Lapse. Okay. Okay. And all right. I believe this is their Venice uh, concert. What a beautiful poster. Beautiful. Okay. Very nice. Okay, and carrying on, we're almost at the CDs, getting there, um, but we have this, uh, so then they have this sort of here, these CDs kind of, the CDs are want to do, they have uh, CDs and DVDs, they have a tendency to want to pop out, so they're all sort of placed in here, but um, not completely, but then there's this other book here, and this is the CD credits book oh my goodness like i'm thinking when you're looking at that it's not gonna you know you just pop out this is wow that's got a thickness to it though <laughs> and then wow okay so here uh cd so the cds are here uh so this is momentary lapse the remix and the update and then we have uh, delicate sound of thunder remix part one and delicate sound of thunder remix part two so we have that here okay always Lots of surprises. You don't know where something's gonna, something's going to land. <laughs> okay, we'll try to. This may not be quite so easy to see, but we'll take a quick look at here again. This will be just a lot of uh, credits, but it does look like there's some imagery in here as well. Let's turn it on like that. And like that. Okay. So yeah, then we have that, and does this open up here? Okay, oh my goodness, okay, and then we have CD four and five like that. Okay, very good, interesting way to house those CDs like that. And so I'm assuming here, uh, these would be more of the Blu-rays and DVDs that are uh, in this side. So uh, let's take a look at that. So we've gone through the five discs there, and then these uh, continued the numbering system. So this is disc six Blu-ray, uh, Pink Floyd, the later years surround, and high resolution audio mixes, like that. And then, uh, so this is like a gatefold thing, and then inside they do have uh, them in a nice little plastic, uh, plastic sleeves, which is always just a nice touch. Just a nice little bit of an extra touch, I do appreciate that. Okay, so there's that, and then we have disc seven. This is Delicate Sound of Thunder, uh, filmed live between uh, August 88, Nassau Coliseum, in, and then in Uniondale, New York, USA. Okay, re-edited 2019. And they've done a lot of apparent uh, re-editing on this one, so there's the track listing for that. This is the Blu-ray, and then the slide. So there's that, and then moving right along, we have, oh my goodness, disc eight with Pulse. That includes a full performance of Dark Side of the Moon. Pulse I really like, uh, certainly of the two Alive albums. I, I think I prefer Pulse uh, overall. And then the nice, uh, everything in a plastic sleeve inside, and then moving right along. Oh my goodness, so much material here. So this is the Venice concert and Nebworth, uh, which is pretty exciting because I don't think they've released, uh, certainly the Venice concert, I don't think they've released before. And certainly I don't think they've released the full Nebworth concert uh, as well. So that's, that's exciting. And then we're still, oh my gosh, it just seems like it just, there's disc after disc after disc. So we're at uh, disc 10. Uh, this is Pink Floyd, the later years, unreleased live films, music videos, and concert uh, screen films. So that's there. 
Yeah, sorry, this is going to be a long one, but uh, lots of material here for sure. And then disc 11, as you, I don't know if I can show this to you, how deep this goes in. Uh, so we'll pop out disc 11. And then we have documentaries and unreleased material, uh, including the Sid Barrett Tribute Concert from 2007. Okay, so there's that, and then we go now to the other uh, other side uh, for disc 12. Uh, we move right along with a Delicate Sound of Thunder uh, film. And again, all gatefold uh, with the information, and quite simply the... Uh, that, uh, Pink Floyd, uh, Pulse, and these are... Uh, these are so these are all, yeah, look, these, these are all the DVDs. So that's DVD, DVD, uh, that sort of thing. And I think that's nice to release both the Blu-ray and the DVD. I'm, I'm a fan of that. Some uh, don't care for that. They think it's just too much. But uh, again, for, for many people that don't still have Blu-ray or whatever, uh, that sort of thing, uh, it's just nice to have the both options. And this is uh, the Venice Concert, Never With Concert, all on DVD. And you get some extra imagery, too, which is always kind of fun. Oops. And then we have, of course, the unreleased live uh, films and music videos, concert screens, that sort of thing. And last, but certainly not least, we have Pink Floyd, The Later Years, Documentaries and Unreleased Material, Disc 16 DVD. Okay, so there you have that. So, wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to pop these all back in. I'll do that uh, certainly at a later time. But uh, before we wrap things up, I did all of that. I have the uh, the sampler disc. <laughs> so we'll take a look at there. Uh, the Pink Floyd, The Later Years. This is uh, the CD highlights. Uh, 12 tracks, 79 minutes. So nicely they filled it up. Uh, 12 tracks, 79 minutes. Includes unreleased tour and live recordings with all the 2019 remixes. All tracks taken from the Later Years 16 disc limited edition box set. So uh, let's take a quick look in there. Okay. Okay, so we'll take the hype sticker and a quick look in here. Uh, very nice. Oh, nice. Nice imagery there. Nice. Looks like a nice little booklet uh, in there. Let's see what the discs look like. And quite simply, it's that. It's just a single disc after this one. And uh, yeah, still some fun imagery there. And it'll have obviously some of the photos uh, included from the massive box set that you've just seen, uh, but a nice little sample there. The division bell. Okay, and there you have that, and uh, more of the press passes, and there you have that. Wow, well, thank you so much uh, for dropping by. Uh, lots to get through there, and uh, have a good one. We'll chat again really soon. Take care. Bye bye.